This is a quick guide for Mimiron, the 11th boss in the Oldowa raid in World of Warcraft. Please note that this guide has been put together with time walking in mind. This is a four phase fight, consisting of three different robots, and a final phase where they all join up to become Voltron. The first phase is a flame leviathan type robot, which will throw out a circle of proximity mines which need to be avoided. Napalm will be cast on random players, and they'll need to be healed up as soon as possible. Plasma Blast will shoot from the front of the boss, so a tank should be focusing it away from the rest of the group. This deals a large amount of damage. The final phase 1 ability, and the biggest one, is Shock Blast. As soon as you see this casting, run away to avoid being one shot, unlike some of the melee here. You can run back in as soon as the cast is finished. Once down, Mimiron will bring out his anti-personnel assault cannon. This will shoot random players and everyone nearby them via rapid burst. You want to spread your raid around the boss to avoid too many people being hit. Rocket Strike is a visible and very obvious red circle spawning on top of players. Move out of the circle to avoid being one shot. The big move of this phase is the Pew Pew Laser Barrage. You'll need to make sure you're not in front of the boss when he begins casting this, and make sure you keep moving away from where he's shooting also. This is another one shot mechanic. Phase 3 features the Aerial Command Unit. Ranged DPS can continue wailing on the boss, while melee players focus down the assault bots. These drop magnetic cores which will bring the boss down for everyone to attack. Make sure that the bomb bots are destroyed quickly to avoid unnecessary explosion damage. Finally, Phase 4 will see all three previous robots join forces. All of the previous abilities will be on display here, so make sure you avoid mines, shock blasts, laser barrages, and rocket strikes while downing the boss. You need to kill each section evenly, as they'll regenerate health after 10 seconds. And that's it. This is probably the harder of the four keepers, and will likely push your pug to the limit. But you can do it. Good luck with getting some great loot and transmog pieces. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, or subscribe to keep up to date with loads more achievement guides coming soon. Thank you for watching.